Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is J. Maria, J. Marie Booklist, and today I'm coming to talk to you about being subpoenaed as a health unit coordinator. So, in all my years of being a health unit coordinator, I was subpoenaed one time, and I think it's not very common. Usually, you know, nurses are used to that, doctors, you know, they're always getting sued, and then, you know, the nurses who work with the patient before, after, they may be subpoenaed. I know um, a nurse, he had worked in Atlanta and he was working here in South Florida and he, and they, you know, because their licenses and everything, he got subpoenaed down here for a case that happened in Atlanta when he was a nurse up there. So, you know, it's, it's not unusual for nurses to be subpoenaed and doctors to be subpoenaed and sued and all that good stuff but um it is i think it is unusual for health unit coordinators to be subpoenaed so i got a subpoena because they thought i was a nurse the the family the lawyer who was suing they for whatever reason i don't know why they thought i was a nurse because they because when i got the subpoena it was you know my name rn i'm like i'm not rn they wanted everybody who touched the chart. So whoever name was on the chart, for whatever reason, you got subpoenaed. And it was a case from like, the people had been in the hospital from what I had um, heard like two years before. So I don't know why it took so long for a lawsuit to come about. They were suing the surgeon. And um, it was two years. Like, who remembers two years ago? Like, there, there are very few people like I always tell people I as a health unit coordinator I remember names because that's what we look at all the time we look at the names or I might remember um, like the family they might look familiar because you know you let them in and out they walk past you all the time but the patients I don't know what the patients look like barely unless I go in the room unless you know the patient calls for something I don't know what the patient looks like and um, I really you know they're they're there for whatever reason i mean unless they do something so memorable that they stand out and even then you know there are some cases where you remember what happened but you don't remember their names you just remember this you know you remember when such and such happened and you remember that time patient coded in this room and you know but you don't remember their names and then some people they just cut up so bad you remember their name you never forget their name but um you know, so I was I was subpoenaed, and so they were calling the hospital lawyers were calling everyone down, and the actually the hospital the lawyer secretary called me down well called me to schedule when I can come, and it was probably about a month out because I think I want to say I was on vacation or I was just coming back from a vacation, so we were able to get it, and I I went in on my day off and I went down there and met with the lawyer to get uh prepared <laughs> and uh that's another that's another word for coached but uh i went down there to get prepared and i'm telling you the man was convinced i was gonna make them lose the case <laughs> okay why why did you because he was like this is how their lawyer is gonna be well why did you do this why did you do that i'm like i don't know he was crashing <laughs> and they were like don't say that don't say that <laughs> he the patient was dying yeah, he does i put the order in but uh so, you know, he was trying to get me used to, uh, you know, get me prepared for what the lawyer, the defendant's lawyer, the family's lawyer might say. And uh, the way I was responding, he was like, you're going to make us lose this case. <laughs> but um, all I did was I put in some labs and, um, and I put in a consult. I, I actually put the order in, was a consult, and then... Um, I called the council and I charted it. So technically what's supposed to happen is there's supposed to be a written order and then you put the order in. But I was like, the only thing I can think of is the man was crashing. The man was crashing and everybody was in the room and they telling me to order this stuff. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of on why I put that in because I, I wouldn't have put an order in like, like they even, they, because you know we we know the law but 
you know, they 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 try you. They try to get you to put orders in, knowing you ain't supposed to be putting the orders in. I said the only only reason, cause like why would I why would I just put a consult in for whoever? Like it had, somebody had to have told me to do it, you know, because and it had to been this man is crashing, <laughs> okay. So uh, that that's that's what it ended up being. But they actually didn't need me because they realized I was the secretary. And I wasn't a nurse. I wasn't in the room. I, d I didn't even remember what happened. I mean, I, I wasn't. The, the nurses, they, they remember, you know, they remember that case. Because not, look, when, when, um, when something is, when a patient, let, let me say it like this. When there's a potential of a lawsuit, and everyone is aware that uh, you, the doctor didn't do this, they should have did this, and it's probably gonna be a lawsuit. That's when you keep your, your hands off the off the uh, chart. You don't go, look, you don't even look at the chart, okay? The electronic chart, electronic or the physical chart, cause you know, you don't want your name nowhere near that, okay? So that's why I was like, well, look, it, it had to pay. Like, don't say the patient was crashing. Look, that's the only reason why I would have put the order in. Because why would I put in a console? Put it in, like, put the actual order in, call it, and then document it. Like, why would I do that? And y'all suing because of whatever. So, uh, but I'm telling you, when you see a situation and it don't look good, keep your name, keep your name off of that. That was a lesson I learned because I was scared. I was like, Lord, if I don't show up, I'm going, if I don't show up to the, um, the like, the, the, the deposition, I'm going to jail. This is a subpoena. I go, oh, Lord, I was scared. But um, I'm telling you, that was my one and only time, and now I do everything by the book, okay? I don't care if a patient is crashing. I ain't putting nothing in, okay? <laughs> I ain't putting nothing in. So, uh, but that, that was, that was that. And I, I don't know where it came of that. I never heard anything. And, and the family was suing the, the surgeon. And I mean, somebody always suing. But sometimes they need to be sued because some, some stuff, you, like, you know when it's about to be a lawsuit. But, uh, cause they're, because people dropping the ball and stuff. But, um, you know, that's, that's just my, my little story. If you ever been subpoenaed as a health unit coordinator, you can put it in the comments below. You can also visit me on my blog. It's jmariebooklist.com. That's where I talk about being a health unit coordinator. You can also buy my, my books I got. My books are also available on Kindle. You can just go to Kindle, Google, J. Marie Booklets, or um, health unit coordinator. I'll pop up. You'll see me. You'll see my picture. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.